आज नई संसद का उद्घाटन चल रहा है देश के प्रधानमंत्री जी उसका उद्घाटन कर रहे हैं और एक तरफ यहाँ लोकतंत्र की हत्या हो रही है देश की बेटियां इंसाफ के लिए रोड पे बैठी हुई हैं उनको इंसाफ मिलने की बजाय उन्हीं को ऐसे प्रिटेंड किया जा रहा है कि वही दोषी है हम पैंतीस दिन से यहाँ रोड पे बैठे हैं बेटियों के इंसाफ के लिए लेकिन कोई सुनवाई नहीं हो रही है पूरी दिल्ली को छावनी में बदल दिया गया है जो आरोपी है वो तो बोल रहा है कि मैं ये कानून भी बदलवा दूंगा सरकार को भी झुका दूंगा और जो न्याय मांग रहे हैं जो बेटी आ उनके साथ देख ले बार ये क्या You're watching People's Dispatch. I'm Surangya. I'm reporting from Jantar Mantar in New Delhi, where some of India's top women wrestlers have been sitting in protest for over a month now, demanding justice, demanding that Bridge Bhushan Singh, who is the president of the Wrestling Federation of India and a member of parliament from the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, be punished, be put in prison for the charges he's facing of sexually molesting and harassing seven women wrestlers, including one minor. Today on May 28th, the, there was a call by all women's organizations, by other organizations to hold a women's parliament, a women's uh, Amahila Samman Panchayat that they called it, to raise these issues at the same time, on the same day that Prime Minister Narendra Modi is inaugurating the new parliament building in New Delhi. However, when this call has been given, thousands were expected to gather here at Jantar Mantar also from the neighboring states of Haryana and Punjab. But the borders of the city were closed last night itself. In fact, there have been reports that many farmers, leaders, many women leaders were not even able to leave their villages, were not even able to reach the borders themselves because the police had erected barricades all across. आप आज देख रहे हो हमें पुलिस आगे नहीं बढ़ने दे रही यहाँ तक ही नहीं है हमारे किसान महिला संगठन दूसरे जनवादी संगठन हैं उनके घरों पर सुबह सुबह तीन बजे दो बजे दबीश दी गई और गिरफ्तार कर लिए गए बचे कुचे साथी कोई बसों द्वारा रेलों द्वारा दिल्ली जो पहुँचना चाहते थे रेलवे स्टेशनों पर बसों पर ही उनकी गिरफ्तारियाँ हो गई And even in the morning, as people from Delhi, as the leaders from Delhi started arriving at the protest site, they were picked up even individually when they were walking towards Jantar Mantar. Leaders of the All India Democratic Women's Association, as we know, have been uh, picked up. And leaders, of, political leaders such as Subhash Niyali from the Communist Party of India, Marxist, may, several other former leaders who ever had come here to express solidarity with the wrestlers have they been retained. As you can see behind me, there are barricades every few meters here at the Jantamanta site and across Delhi. Throughout the city, there are barricades everywhere. The borders of the city have been blocked. According to a police official, today around 30 to 40,000 police forces and uh, rapid action forces have been deployed throughout the city to ensure that no disturbance happens and this action is not able to take place. All, everyone who was, in fact, even media persons were not allowed across these barricades today in a complete violation of all democratic principles. And everyone who was sitting there has now been detained. Literally, busloads of people have been detained from this site.
पुलिस को मोदी आगे करता है इसका मतलब हमसे डरता है ये हमारी पहली जीत है अगर पुलिस को आगे ना करता हमें घबराने की जरूरत थी इसका मतलब हम आगे बढ़ रहे हैं जीत की और है, वो पीछे दर कदम दर कदम सरकार पीछे हट रही है शांतिपूर्ण तरीके से अपना धरना लगाया था हमारा फैसला था खिलाड़ियों का कि जहां भी पुलिस रोकेगी हम वहीं बैठेंगे लेकिन पुलिस हमें यहाँ धरना नहीं लगाने दे रही कह रही है धारा एक है और आपको गिरफ्तार किया जाता है ये तानाशाही है मोदी सरकार की इसका जवाब दिया जाएगा बेटियों के साथ जो अपमान कर रही है जो गिरफ्तारियां करी इसको बिल्कुल बर्दाश्त नहीं करेंगे और इस लड़ाई को आने वाले समय में तेज करेंगे